distinguished dignitaries colleagues from industries and all my dear friends first of all our atovel industry is one of the very very important industry in the country because this industry is giving maximum employment to the youth of our country this is the industry which is giving maximum revenue as a part of gst to the state and central government this is the industry which is giving good exports and that is the reason that this is the very important industry for the country but one of the unfortunate thing with the industry is our import for fossil fuel is 16 lakh crores and that is one of the reason that we are facing the problem crucial problem of air pollution and that is the reason that the in, we need lot of reform in this industry and today i am very much happy that today we have 30.5 30.5 crore registered vehicle on the road and industry size is 7.5 lakh crores our export is 3.5 lakh crores and the great thing with our industry atovel industry is our two wheeler manufacturing is highest in the world the 50% of the production of bajaj tvs and hero they have their exports and is really a one of the remarkable thing for the industry this industry contributes 7% in gdp contribution particularly in the growth and manufacturing gdp contribution is 35% and employment is 4 crores we are the largest manufacturer of two wheelers and three wheelers in the world and fourth largest manufacturer of passenger vehicles and within 2 years by e electric buses within 2 years we will be the number one manufacturer of passenger buses in the world i am expecting that it can be possible we are the seventh largest manufacturer of commercial vehicles and my dream is as a transport minister to make this industry of 15 lakh crore at the end of 5 years and uh, i am expecting next this year our growth will be 20% and regarding all reputed manufacturing automobile brands in the world now present in india i got opportunity to launch electric mercedes car in pune i was there i got opportunity to even in the same pune also that i launched the lng truck from blue energy and uh, that is on lng so the lot of things are changing now and that is the reason that government had decided to giving highest priority for alternative fuel in the alternative fuel the electric is the most important source for our country because the electricity is available and the cost of the power is 2 rupees 40 paisa per unit coming it's very cheap as compared with the price of the petrol and diesel and no pollution import substitute cost effective pollution free and indigenous i am really happy that today we have waiting list in electric vehicles i remember in this hotel before 2 years when i was discussing about the e vehicles the media people asking me the question that how you are going to charge then when the how it can be possible lot of questions and at that time that was the mind of the people but today we have electric two wheelers electric three wheelers electric four wheelers electric buses we have just received the tender for 5500 buses electric buses for presently the running of diesel bus in mumbai even in delhi also the rate will be same it comes 115 rupees per kilometer and we receive the tender for electric buses it is 39 rupees per kilometer for non ac bus and 41 rupees for ac bus so in public transport in presently in our country we have 1 lakh 50000 buses and my dream is to take it up to 10 lakh buses double decker electric buses for tourism i just got opportunity to launch double decker electric bus in mumbai in european country there are a lot of very beautiful double decker buses 
and if we can make this bus a double decker bus it the cost will be 60 rupees per kilometer so we can reduce the cost of tickets particularly by 35 to 30% and giving ac comfort to the poor people so the most important challenge with the government is how we are going to encourage public transport because one thing is good or bad i i never understand because as a as a minister we have lot of highways now so people are enjoying taking their vehicles and they are enjoying to ride on the roads now from delhi to dehradun and haridwar it will be up to end of this year up before december it will be 2 hours delhi to amritsar end of this year before that it will be 4 hours delhi to katra 6 hours and delhi to srinagar 8 hours delhi to merit previously it was 4 and 1/2 hours now delhi to merit is now with 40 minutes then delhi to jaipur 2 hours and delhi to mumbai in 12 hours my idea is to from nariman point to delhi cannot place in 12 hours in uh, also we are making from chennai to bangalore in 2 hours lucknow to kanpur half hour so there are lot of new roads we are making that is the reason that now people are preferring their own vehicle and that is the reason that because of the road we are supporting automobile industry and to encourage the people to purchase more cars but at the same time this is also a big problem so we need to develop public transport in the country electric bus electric truck my dream is to make e highway from delhi to jaipur that trolley bus just like the train we can take the truck and buses up to the jaipur we will first want to start as a experiment so i feel that this is very important industry and today we have lot of research is going on i always telling the people two important philosophies one is innovation entrepreneurship science technology research skilled and successful practices we name it as knowledge and conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future we are successfully in now lithium ion battery we are in the process of developing aluminum ion zinc ion steel ion sodium ion battery uh, battery at the same time aluminum air technology is also developed by which we can reduce the cost and that is the reason that my dream is within 2 years the cost of the petrol vehicle and cost of the electric vehicle will be the same and in place of petrol you are spending for 1 liter more than 100 rupees for electric it is only 10 rupees or 12 rupees so lot of saving is there so today it is really a great thing that our atwal industry is doing excellent job just 3 days before i was in mumbai iit they have just have the scooter on hydrogen now the green hydrogen is the future and we are all in the process that presently our rural economy is very challenging we have sugar surplus corn surplus wheat surplus rice surplus now we are allowing to make ethanol from sugar cane juice bhav molasses c molasses and also we are making ethanol from broken rice food grains and even in assam we have started the plant from ethanol from bamboo so today bioethanol we have the flex engine is available i just one month before i got approved to launch flex engine car of toyota camry 100% on bioethanol and the car is generating 40% electricity from that so it is really also a win win situation and ethanol is a indigenous fuel import substitute cost effective pollution free and indigenous so flex engine is already a successful technology and we all the automobile brands now are in position to launch flex engine in the country then we have electric ethanol methanol biodiesel bio cell the most important thing in delhi people is we are now six units factories we have to make bio cng bio lng from perli rice straw because of the perli burning of the perli is a big problem we have one project in panipat from perli rice straw we are making indian oil has got that project that 1 lakh liter of ethanol per day and 150 ton of bitumen uh, per day from perli just yesterday i have a great presentation that from perli we can make bio bitumen and that factory we on tractor molded factory we will take up to the farmer 
and by orally which is the best material we can get bio vitamin from that that in the liquid form and we can use it in road construction so that is going to create employment potential in the rural and agriculture economy so these are the new innovations lot of people are doing excellent jobs our iits our engineering colleges our research scholars startup we have 400 manufacturer of e scooters in country now 400 they are making really beautiful designs so today it is very important for india that the 100% within 5 years we will be number one manufacturing hub of automobile in the world and that is the reason that all automobile brands are present in the country and this is one of the important industry for all of us Uh, and today there is a competition that is very important without competition consumer can't get the correct price so lot of competition is there good quality is there everyone is doing excellent designs good jobs and once upon a time our industry was cost centric but now all the automobile manufacturer are thinking on the line of quality centric and that is the reason that we have already getting good products good designs and 100% there is a huge potential for export i am really happy that g is going to organize to giving awards to the people who are doing excellent jobs in this field and it is very important because the quality is important the different type of new technology we need to encourage them and different new products where definitely there is a good choice for the consumer and it is very very important for our economy the dream of our prime minister to make indian economy of 5 trillion dollar and atmanirbhar bharat the most important thing is related with the automobile industry because this is the industry which is going to change the future economy of our country and because of that we are my ministry is doing constructing big roads uh, we are now in uh, process of giving more speed allowing more speed on roads because we are making access control highways green highways and i feel that it, because of this we are going to encourage tourism now badrinath kedarnath gangotri yamnotri only 6 month was there now you can pull year you can go to badrinath uh, kedarnath gangotri and yamnotri by all season road we are constructing the road of 12000 crore we have completed the project of buddha circuit of 20000 crore we are making in the process of making ayodhya circuit ram janaki circuit of 20000 crore now i am planning to develop mathura of 15000 crore project every religious center tourism point of view whatever is the important thing we are going to connect with the roads and that is going to create more tourism in the country and tourism is a industry where out of capital invest and 49% of capital investment is they are using for creating employment potential we are making 260 ropeway cable car and funicular rail my planning is to make 30 funicular rail into ladakh and leh we are making beautiful tunnel near kargil name is jhojila where we save 5000 crore on one project the estimated cost was 12000 crore and we are making that project in 6000 crore then we are making lot of tunnels 2 lakh 50000 crores we are spending on making of new tunnels so 100% indian road infrastructure will be equal to the us before 24 end that is my dream that is my mission and with the blessing of all of you we will be in position to complete that mission i am really happy for giving awards to all successful automobile industries partner here i am giving my best wishes to all of them and i will request them that it is the time for all of you to increase your export because by scrapping policy now the steel rubber plastic aluminum everything will be available with a cheaper rate because we are going to scrap the car which are the old car 15 years already the life is decided and after that the scrapping policy will get the material easily available with the low cost that is going to reduce the cost of component by 30% and which is also going to be a very very good advantage for the manufacturer by which we will be more competitive in the world and that is the reason that the future of this industry is very good i am giving my all best wishes to the all industry and particularly the new entrepreneurs who are doing excellent job uh, they are doing good research good designing 
and their production cost is also they are going to reduce and they are developing new chemistry battery chemistry that is equally important my blessings to all of you once again thank you very much namaskar